welcome back to the channel everybody today i'm in santa barbara and i'm playing sandpiper golf course as you can see behind me there's a bit of a marine layer going on right now hopefully that'll burn off before my tea time but we're just down here on a little family vacation a little birthday weekend getaway and uh, decided to play this co this uh, course right along the coast here uh, not real sure if I'm gonna do a full course vlog or just do some highlights and just do some uh, signature hole shots but we'll go ahead and film the whole round and take you guys along kind of showcase this course should be a good day beautiful weather there's not much wind and like I said once this marine layer burns off hopefully we can get some beautiful shots of the coast here all right so hopefully you enjoy it if you do hit that like button hit that subscribe button and leave me some comments down below First tee shot here went a little bit left in the rough. Just had to lay up and somehow made it through that tree. But we're right back out in the middle of the fairway. We'll have a good, good look at a easy little wedge in for my third shot on this par five. Hopefully we can put one close and get a birdie. I think that went long. So this was my first real introduction to the greens here at Sandpiper. I landed this flop shot exactly where I wanted to, just on the edge of the green, and watch how far this thing rolls away. These greens are sloped really dramatically from front to back. It's kind of hard to see on camera. So I was left with about a 25 footer up the hill and I wasn't able to convert that, but we did tap in for a three putt bogey on the first hole. I drove the ball really well on my round out here at Sandpiper. The fairways are pretty forgiving most places and uh, scrambled pretty good on this round, but the greens just kicked my butt. I think I ended up two putting this one as well, even though I put it in close. After a pretty poor tee shot, I do have a good look with my approach shot here into hole number three. Put it just left of the flag, a little bit deep, and have a long downhill putt. Watch how much this putt breaks. Nearly make it. And I missed that putt coming back as well. I found the bunker with my tee shot on the par three fourth, but was able to splash one out and had a chance to save a par. Unfortunately, I played just a little too much break and it never really moved. Hole six is the only hole that plays along the ocean on the front nine. You got a 173 yard par three from the gold tees with the only real trouble being left here. So, of course, that's where I yank it. Left, over the bunker, thought I was still in play, but it did go over the cliff. So yeah, absolutely no chance of playing a ball that goes over this cliff. But look at that view, absolutely beautiful. Reminded me a lot of the Bandon Dunes courses that I've played up in Oregon. If you haven't had a chance, check out some of those videos on my channel. It's beautiful up there as well. Love coastal courses. Hit a good drive here on hole number nine, playing back up towards the clubhouse. Just a seven iron in hand here and hit a really good shot. Just left of the flag. All right, got my best look at birdie so far today. Hole number nine. Just put one in there to about eight feet. Let's make a putt. And just another putt that I just overread. Had the speed right though. Hole number 10 is the start of the signature holes here at Sandpiper. You play down towards the ocean here, a hard dog leg left to a elevated green. Just absolutely beautiful hole. Calls for a draw. I hit just a little bit too much of a pole hook here out into the fescue. So this is what I was looking at for my second shot out of this ditch down here on the left. And the green's kind of perched up well above me. And I'm just trying to hack out of this thick grass here. I think it was short. Well, I actually wasn't short. Put it on the green. Gotta get over a big old ridge. But this is a beautiful hole. The greens were once again a mystery to me as this was my second putt. I wasn't able to get it up over the ridge with my first one. So I did end up walking off this green with another three putt. 
These are tough greens out here at Sandpiper. This just shows you some of the slope and the green here on number 10. And then you get to overlook the green down below for number 11 before you walk off and head up to the tee box. So hole number 11 is probably what Sandpiper Golf Course is most known for. This beautiful downhill par three overlooking the Pacific Ocean. Just absolutely incredible view. And I hit a really decent shot from the tee box here. Put one on to the right side of the green. So I caught just the right edge of the green here and have an uphill right to left break and get this on a good line, but it does come up just a touch short. We're able to tap in for par. So you feel like you're right on the beach on the tee box here at hole number 12 with the waves crashing right behind you. This is a really cool tee box. The tee shot plays back up the hill and if you walk the course like I do, be prepared for a pretty steep incline. Look at this, walk up this, Ooh, this is fun. So after catching my breath from walking up that hill, I step up here and hit an iron shot. A little bit deep, a little bit left of the flag. And I played a wedge to here, have a look to save par. But once again, these greens just got me tapping in for a bogey. Hole 13 is a par 5 that plays right along this ravine. Any bad tee shot to the right and you're going to find yourself on the beach. I played my layup to here and hit a 7 iron. I thought was the perfect distance, but it did end up going a touch deep. And I just played a big flop shot from here that ended up rolling all the way to the front of the green here. I gave it a good look back up the hill. Thought I had the speed just right, but did come up a touch short. Mike, I told you I'd do one of these on a video in the future. So if you're watching, this one's for you. Hole 14 here was probably the best drive I had all day. I hit a bullet right down the middle. I followed that tee shot up with a great hybrid right at the flag. This must be a migrating flight path for these pelicans because there were just a ton of them out there that day. My hybrid did end up going long, so I chipped to here and was able to tap in. After a pretty poor tee shot here on 15, just hitting a hybrid up under this tree getting it to roll up just short of the green chipping up from there make a great little bump and run here tapping in for the par wasn't thrilled with the contact here on the drive on hole number 16 but it did end up in the middle of the fairway and i hit one of the best iron shots of the day right here nice little club twirl and i did have a look at a birdie and a big swinger from right to left and really thought I made that one. Just tapping in for a par. The closing hole here at Sandpiper Golf Course is a par 3 that plays over a large pond, a little downhill, 167 yards from the gold tees, large bunkers on the left that guard the front. Shot. Here's another putt that just illustrates just how much break and speed are on these greens. I thought I played this perfectly, but watch how much this ball comes back. About three feet back down the hill, but I am able to tap in to close out with the par. All right, that's going to wrap up the round out here at Sandpiper Golf Course and just outside of Santa Barbara, California. I didn't play fantastic, but I absolutely enjoyed the round here. It's an incredibly beautiful course right along the coast. Some really nice views. Uh, unfortunately, we had a bit of a marine layer for most of the day. Enjoyed this course. The fairways are pretty forgiving. The greens are extremely tough. They all seem to be uh, slanted from uh, back to front. The pin locations were in some really tough positions today. and. I mean, you could just really blow a putt by 15, 20 feet really easily. I mean, they were quick to begin with, and 
some of these pin locations were on some down slopes and if you weren't below the hole it made for some tough putting but i enjoyed it had a great time and uh looking forward to maybe playing here in the future uh, let me know if you ever played the course let me know how you did i ended up shooting a 87 today so not my best my uh, handicap's kind of going in the wrong direction. I've been doing a lot more fishing and not as much golf. So there are some things that I definitely need to work on. Need to work on my iron game. Need to work on, uh, yeah, my woods, three wood hybrid. I'm struggling with those right now. Chipping putting is pretty good. Although I struggled on the greens today, but enjoyed it. And uh, if you did like the video, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. Leave me some comments down below. We'll catch you on the next one. Thank you.